Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric, and today we got a crazy story that happened yesterday with the Oakland A's as their coach, Ryan, one of their coaches, Ryan Christensen, after the game made what appeared to be a Nazi salute, which if you do that in 2020, you're basically f***. Whether it was on purpose or not, in this particular case, there is plenty of evidence that it wasn't because the A's have a little salute that they do after games that is supposed to look like this, but instead he did it, he messed up. He did it jacked up and it looked like a Nazi salute. And we can watch the video and we're gonna watch the video because I wanna try to make sure that I'm accurate here in saying that it was an accident because I believe it was. I don't believe that A's coach, Ryan Christensen, is out there intentionally doing the Nazi salute. Although in 2020, there are thousands of people who do believe it was absolutely intentional. And then he was out there doing it on purpose and it was clear he did it twice. He did it twice. And I can show you why he did it twice. And, uh, you know, it was a stupid because, you know, he did the thing wrong and he should know that that's a Nazi salute. He should feel that. But, you know, he, he just didn't notice that he was doing that until he was corrected by a teammate, another guy on the team, who said, no, 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 you can do it like this. He fixed it for him. And then he laughs and then he does it again just to kind of like, what an idiot I am. That's what happened. And we'll check out the video. Oakland A's bench coach Ryan Christian apologized Thursday for unintentionally making a gesture resembling Nazi salute following A's win over Texas Rangers. Christensen was seen on camera extending his right arm in the air as the team was making its way off the field, engaging in elbow bump celebrations uh, with coaches. And then the closer, Liam Hendricks, could be seen correcting Christian's gesture. And then he turned around and repeated the same gesture. But you're not going to specify in the article, of course, that he repeated it in jest, making fun of himself, realizing how dumb it was. And he kind of was embarrassed. And then he did it again like, what an idiot. That's what that was. And then he had to apologize. He said, what I did was unacceptable and I deeply apologize. And then the A's had to put out their official apology. Where are we at with this? So the A's with their official professional looking apology um he made uh, his statement i made a mistake and will not deny it today in the dugout i greeted players with a gesture that was offensive in the world of covid i adapted our elbow bump which is what we do after wins to create some distance from play with the players my gesture unintentionally resulted in a racist and horrible salute that i do not believe in what i did was unacceptable and i deeply apologize Okay, um, apology accepted from me. I mean, I know it was an, an accident, dude. No big deal. You know, it was kind of just stupid and you laughed it off. And hey, it's an accident. Statement from the Oakland Athletics. A's bench coach Ryan Christensen greeted players with a gesture that looked like a Nazi salute. We do not support or condone this gesture or the racist sentiment behind it. This in is incredibly offensive, especially in these times when we as a club or so many others are working to expose and address racial inequalities in our country. We are deeply sorry that this has happened on our playing field. And then you go into the comments and you know what you're gonna find in the Twitter 2020. He did it twice. Did it twice. The second time he was making fun of himself because he realized what he was doing and he laughed and he's like, oh my God, I'm an idiot. And then he did it again like, look at me, I'm stupid. Then this guy says he shouldn't have to apologize for anything. Anyone with a normal thought process realizes this wasn't a Nazi salute. In other words, it didn't do it on purpose anyway. Um, but of course, that guy's now in trouble, like I'm going to be. And, and this lady says, let me guess, you're from Fallbrook or Santee. Burn that jersey. We don't want you on our team. Nazi, apolo Nazi apologists need not apply. And then someone else uh, said to him, yeah, Nazis defending Nazis. A. David F. off Trumpy. So he's a Trumpy now. He's a Trumpy. I don't see anything in here that that indicates his political affiliation, but he's now a Trumpy because he thinks that uh, that it was an accident and the guy doesn't really need to apologize. I'm not, I don't have a problem with him apologizing for it because he's offended a lot of people because it looked like a Nazi salute. He can apologize, the A's can apologize, the apology a little bit over the top, but hey, fine, that's where we're at. They put out the apology and I accept their apology. It was an accident and we're gonna look at the video, but I just wanna look at a couple more comments here. Apology not accepted, fire the coach. Then fire the PR lackey who issued this non-apology apology. What do you want, Adam? What do you want? Apology not accepted. Fire the coach. If they fire the coach, which is why I'm making this video, because I want to put it out there that I'm absolutely against firing this coach. 
He did not mean to put a Nazi salute. They have a different... There's an explanation. If there was no explanation, it was a normal game in a normal season, you'd be like, what the freak are you doing? A Nazi? What is that? You better have an explanation. Guess what? They do. They do this thing. They do this elbow thing, and he was getting ready to do it, and he freaking looked like a Nazi. Guy's an idiot. He blew it. He messed up. Okay? I don't mean he's an idiot all the time, but he was being an, he was an idiot right then. Like Just like if I did, I'd say, oh my God, I'm such an idiot. What am I doing? You know? It's a mistake. It's an accident. Justin, simple mistake. He said, sorry, now move on, people. Thank you. But you know, Justin's going to get canceled now. A Nazi salute is not a mistake. It's intentional. Hashtag fire Ryan Christensen. Then this lady with the hearts. She's such a such a caring person. Heart, love. It's all about love and forgiveness in, in this world. Um, um, no. She wants to fire his ass fired. That This right here, y'all, is why we can't have nice things. This man is making a Nazi salute at work to protest a health policy. She knows even why he's doing it. Y'all saying, oh, this boy didn't mean to be cruel. Let's let him keep doing it and keep his job when he's only sorry for getting caught. Sorry for getting caught. He, <laughs> I'm going to try to do this Nazi salute and I hope I don't get caught, but I'm going to do it out on the field and camera in front of everything when I'm out on the field in the open. If you want to do a Nazi salute and not get caught, you can do it in anywhere, at any time. Just go home where there's no cameras and do your Nazi salute and you won't get caught. Guess what? He did it on the field with cameras everywhere because he didn't mean to. Because it was an accident. You know, this finally someone, why did he do it twice? He was mocking himself the second time. We're, let's just take a look at it. Let's stop stalling. Let's look at it. And you tell me. Okay, so he's putting his hand out. You can see, clearly, looks like a freaking Nazi salute. He's, it looks terrible. I admit it looks terrible. And uh, he, he's getting ready to do the elbow bump. And then it, catcher Lee, uh, the closer comes on and says, what are you doing, dude? He fixes it for him. And he, then, he, then he laughs. Look at him. He's laughing right now. He points at like, oh, my God. And he points at him. And then he walks off and does it a second time like, oh, my God, I'm an idiot. That's what just happened. Let's watch it again. Does the Nazi salute. Fixes it for him. He laughs. He points at him. And then he does it to mess with himself. To say, what an idiot I am. That's what happened. But no, people want to cancel this dude. They want him fired. This is a fairly young guy. He was born in the 70s. He's probably in his 40s right now. He played a big league career, about five or six year big league career. The guy's from Redlands, California. Okay, it's fairly diverse area. San Bernardino area, California. I, I have a hard time believing that this guy decided... Out of nowhere, I'm going to do the Nazi salute today on the field after the game. Any other time in the past 50 years, this same situation, any other time pre-cancel era, this guy would have done that. We would, People would be laughing. It'd be a joke. Now, is the Nazi salute a joke and what Hitler did back in that day a joke? Of course not. Of course not. Okay, people were tortured and killed. I'm not going to get into it. It was freaking terrible. Is this salute a, a laughing matter? And normally, no, it's not a laughing matter. But guess what? It was an accident. It was a stupid accident. Even he laughed because he was embarrassed. That's what people do when they get caught doing something embarrassing on accident. You just laugh. Because you're like, oh man, that was stupid. But no, 2021, this guy canceled. I hope the A's do not fire this guy. I find it crazy they had to put out such a professional and lengthy apology. But that's where we're at. And if you don't agree with me, and you want to tell me you think he did it on purpose, and that he's just a raging racist who wants to bring back the Holocaust, then let me know in the comments, and we'll talk about it. Have a fantastic day. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Really appreciate you guys' support. Um, I just want to put this out there because I feel bad for the guy, and I want to defend him because I think it was a stupid accident. I think it was kind of, it was stupid. It was stupid. He should have noticed what he was doing, but he didn't. He, he blew it. He was corrected very quickly, and he's laughed, and it was, and that's it. Can we move on? Can we move on without firing the guy? Have a great day. See you guys later. See ya! When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye. Making at Oracle Park.